Constantine, my dear cousin. I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? I finally managed to enter the sanctuary at the heart of the island, and I was able to talk with Enon Miel Frichterman. How marvelous! Tell me about it. The sanctuary is heavily protected. Only a high king can open it. <sighs> I remember you saying that Vimbar's death wasn't going to help us. How did you fix this problem? I had to interfere in the natives' elections and earn the trust of the pretender who seemed to be the best choice. You really are an outstanding diplomat. My father is an old, bitter man, but he was right about you. Tell me, who did you choose? Dunkus. He's the king of the village of Vigigador, and a Danegad full of wisdom. I'm certain that you have made the right choice. And then what did you do? I was able to enter the sanctuary. It was an incredible experience. It had to be. Oh, how I envy you. Entering the most secret places on this island, talking to a god. What does he look like? Is he some kind of very old and very powerful Donegad? No. In fact, I spoke to an extremely large tree. As strange as it may sound. Fascinating. And I thought that gods were always old bearded men. Did he tell you where the Malachor was coming from? Is it a curse that he cast upon the first settlers? No. According to him, we are responsible for the emergence of the Malachor. By exploiting the Earth so much, we have poisoned it. And the disease has contaminated us through the water that we drink and the plants that we eat. Strange, and yet it seems plausible. So, there wouldn't be an antidote? He says that the Earth can be healed. That his children know how to do it. I suppose he was talking about the Donegada. He also said that by healing the Earth, we would heal those who live on it. This is a fascinating revelation. It won't be easy for our neighbors to accept it, however. I'm afraid that even my father might receive it with skepticism. Did he tell you anything else? No, but it's true that the conversation ended abruptly. An intruder had managed to sneak into the sanctuary, and we had to flee to evade the wrath of its guardians. An intruder, you say? Then I guess this sanctuary isn't that heavily protected. Your work really is exemplary. The entire continent should be thanking you. Is there anything you would like to tell me? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So, what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman, a beach guardian. But it seemed just the sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the guardians? I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you have already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Danegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far, rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? God, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. 
You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... peculiar recently. He sleeps very little and goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed? Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. And where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Listen. I understand this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went, but he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So, if you know anything else, I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here, I have the key. Take it. I hope you find His Highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? He never was very reasonable. But it is true that these walks at night are rather suspicious. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Enon Mil Frichtemann had some truth to them. Let's rummage through his papers. We may find a clue. May the trees on your road always bear fruit! Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixi. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixi. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different, darker. He's talking about the crazy Don Egad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hide in the old house. He would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, Onol Manawi. You're very isolated here. Why live so far from a village? It's a long story. Matir, will you tell him? When I was young, I got engaged to a young man. But he wasn't my Menondanem. I thought he was, but I was wrong. And one day, I met the one I would love for all my life. As I had broken my engagement, we were exiled. So, our parents came to settle here. They built this house, and we were born. There. Now you know the whole story. Do you want to know anything else? I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. 
it's Constantine. With some friends. this passage would do well to follow it. Constantin, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I... I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill him for anything in the world. Constantine. Come back and explain it. Because I'm guilty this now that I deserve it. If Katasas had known, he would have let him go. He's gone mad. It's the only explanation. Let's see if you can walk out this fight. Your armor will no longer protect you. Close to his self-net theory. Your armor is broken, said that. Let's see if you can walk out this fight. Protect you! 
may be the lord of this fight! But I don't understand. What he wants. Eternity. Strength. Power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness. The brevity of his existence that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most Sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. That is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand what you feel. I have trouble believing it myself. But Enon Mielfrichtemann never lies. We need to stop your cousin by any means possible. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. Don't forget he has a personal guard. He's bound to have warned them against us after what happened. You're right. We should be careful. And we're gonna need an army. Alone against all of these creatures will be no match for them. The natives will follow us. What do you think about the Nords? I would like to answer you myself, but alas, I cannot. The question will have to be asked to the Admiral. We should also be able to count on Sieglinde. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Burren. What an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy, but not here. On an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this.